Did you hear what St. Paul said? He said, you are a temple of God, and the Holy Spirit dwells within you. Turn to your neighbor and say, you are a temple of God. I'm not entirely sure we're convinced of that. The God who made the universe, the God who counts every single hair on our head, the God who knows our hearts, the God who has given us mercy dwells in each of us. Now, if that's true, it changes the way we understand how we live. You see, today's first reading, we hear from, Mo, from God who speaks to Moses, Be holy, for I am holy. What, is the, what does it mean to be holy? It means to be set apart, to be like God, to be set apart, to be filled with love. And Jesus gives us some of the most radical teaching he gives us in the New Testament. is not just, notice he says, You've heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, I as the author of the law, I as the one who made you and created you, say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. See, it's an invitation to live like God. That's what it means to be holy. And you have what it takes to be holy because God dwells within you. You are his temple. And the degree to which you open up your heart and you worship God on the altar of your heart and choose to love your enemy, to forgive those who hurt you is the degree to which in many ways you will be holy and fulfill the very purpose of your life. Amen. That's the shortest Sunday homily I've ever given. (laughs) So how many of you have taken... (laughs) I want to preach so much longer on that. How many of you have taken the Disciple Maker Index? Just raise your hand. All right? So the Disciple Maker... Thank you so much for raising your hand. I want to really, really thank you for doing that because this survey is very important. And right now, Father Joe and I have decided that it is so important, this survey is so important, we want to give a context and a place in which those who haven't taken that survey can do so right now and we can do it as a parish. Because I really believe that it's this important to get 100% participation. And I want to explain three reasons why I think it's important enough to do it during Mass. Number one... This survey is a great way for you to reflect on your own journey of discipleship. After a survey, uh, after a parishioner took the survey, she said to me, Father, thank you so much for having us take the survey. It gave me the opportunity to reflect on my own spiritual journey, which is something that she really thought it was necessary for her to do. So she was very thankful. Number two, this survey asks tough questions that some priests and parishes don't want the answers to. And I'm sincerely desiring your feedback and your input. You have a voice. The fact is that if I only get people who are really, really active and really, really dedicated to taking the survey, that's not going to help me very much. But if I get the people who come to Mass on Sunday to take this, to really give us sincere feedback, then I as a leader can know where you are in your faith so that I can be a better leader for you, a better servant for you. And finally, the third reason why we're doing this is that the data from this survey will go to the realigning of resources to mission committee of the diocese, which essentially is responsible for helping determine the future of the diocese, to determine the future structure of our parishes, to determine priest assignments. And I can tell you, as the chair of that committee that works with the bishop, the feedback from this survey is more important than people think, because we need to get a snapshot of every single worshiping community And so we really want 100% of parishioners to take this. And this is why we are doing this. So, how many of you have a smartphone on you? Take your smartphone out of your pocket or your purse. And if you left it in your car, you are very, very disciplined. And I appreciate that. This is the only legal time you can bring out your smartphone. Unless, of course, you're following the readings. Take your smartphone out. Hold it up. We want as many people as possible to take this online, not with the paper copies in your pews. So I want you, if your smartphone, to take it out. And if you have not taken this already, go to DiscipleMakerIndex.com. DiscipleMakerIndex.com. One more time. DiscipleMakerIndex.com. And if you can't find it, you can go to our website. There is a link to that. I want to encourage you to go through and make sure you choose the Diocese of Lansing and St. Patrick Parish Brighton, not Ann Arbor, St. Patrick Parish Brighton, and I want you to be as honest and as, uh, as kind of um, forthright as you can. 
If you don't have your cell phone on, you don't have a smartphone, and you haven't taken it, I want to encourage you to take the paper survey in your pew right now. Just pass it down. Ask the people next to you. If you need a paper survey, um, ask someone for that. And this is for all, all of you who are 18 years and above. Um, I want to encourage you, this is primarily for St. Pat's parishioners, but if you come to Mass here on a semi-regular basis, or you like to come to Mass here, even if you're not a parishioner, we'd also ask you to fill this survey out as well, because we want the data from you. Remember that the survey is anonymous, and the results will be published, will be published to the parish this spring. For those of you who have already taken this, I want to invite you to a time of prayer right now. A time of prayer to thank God for what you are really thankful for in the parish. To name the things that you're thankful for in our parish and to really thank God. But also to intercede for the parish. Intercede for me, for my deeper conversion. Intercede for Father Joe. Intercede for the parish staff. Intercede for those of us in our parish who are struggling in their faith. To really seek God's heart. And we're going to just take some time, maybe 10, 15 minutes just right now, to really pray, and so that people who have not taken this on their phone can go through this, disciplemakerindex.com, and then we can, uh, we can pass the paper surveys down to the end of the pews when you're done.